Hi guys, welcome to the show. Welcome to The Identity. Now, during this whole season we've been talking about relationships. And there are very many topic, topics that we've talked about and I encourage you, if you've missed any, go to our social media platforms, especially on YouTube, you'll get to find that whole season that you have already covered. Now, in our society, being an African, sex in itself, just by saying that word, it has been demonized. And there are very many ideas of what sex is, uh, how we should approach it, and there's a high chance that we have not talked about it at home. I'll join into this conversation as we get to talk more about sex and to help me in this discussion is my friend Karibu Tena Sana Chris. Please hold up the mic. Vibi. Poor Sana. Santi. Ukosa Ukosalama. Ukopoa. Padu Tuni Mto Masuti. Afo. Afo. We maintain. Yes. We maintain. God is faithful. God is forever faithful. Yeah. <laughs> amen. Amen. Karibu Sana. Next to me is Yvonne Alfreda. Hi. Hi, Sami. How are you? I'm good. I'm tired, but I'm good. It is also to be noted that... In a, it was <laughs> shrinkage. Shrinkage. It's a female well, thing. No, when, Ask when any you female. Your hair? It's because... No, it's called shrinkage. Go look for any natural person you know. And they'll tell you what shrinkage means. We are natural? Uh-uh. You're not a woman. Okay, so... Karibu sana. Asante. <laughs> Next to me, again, is Judy Gesare. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. You're looking good. Merci. At least after talking about dressing, we still look good, amen? <laughs> amen. Karibu sana. Our resident guest, Haman Tambo. He's looking good. <laughs> I didn't say it, but Nisawa. Nisawa too. Yes, sir. Uh, Yvonne is saying you've tried. It's not like I expected to say anything else. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Karibu lakini. Asante Sami, I like your bow tie. Oh, for the first time, thank you, my brother. Holy season, ni mungoje seme kitu nzuri. Usizoe lakini. Karibu kwa discussion. We're going to talk about sex now. Chris, let me start up with you. Every time that this discussion is had anywhere, is that obvious question of what is sex? Mm -hmm. What is sex or ngono? Sex. <laughs> sex, in my definition, yeah. not according to the dictionary, uh -huh. uh, it's uh, the highest level of intimacy between two people mm -hmm. uh, that uh, is physical. Mm -hmm. That's how I could define sex. The highest level? Yes. So to Kemo Kushika and I said it is the highest <laughs> level of intimacy that you can have with Judy. So this is sex. <laughs> no, you see, if you don't mess ever. I'm just I'm just trying to use your definition. If this is the highest definition to me of the highest uh, def highest level of intimacy between me and Judy, can you say this is sex? Uh, okay. I think I should expound more on the what I meant by saying the highest yes. level of inner intimacy. Yes. Uh, when a couple, mm -hmm. uh, they get physical and uh, they get to know each other physically, uh, in court. Okay, hold it. Hold it. <laughs> Viewer, tafadhali. Clearly with the way this discussion has taken, it might not be appealing to kids of a certain particular of age. This is me saying viewership is... You know, we, and the viewer, discretion. viewer discretion is advised. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Join with us. Chris and Elia, now you can spread it there you wanted to spread. <laughs> uh, I love you pass this much to you. <laughs> <laughs> because what's, what's truly fail me in this okay. context? So, yeah. okay. <laughs> before, before you put Yvonne, Yvonne <laughs> has a ribu, my name is <laughs> Papa. Yvonne has a ribu. Judy, what is sex? Sex is um, intercourse between man and woman, between male and female. Yeah, sexual intercourse. Sexual intercourse between man and woman. What about man and man? That's gay. I, I don't, gay is English. I don't know. So, okay, we can just basically, HT. Lawyer, do you have any other critical term to tell us what sex is? 
as a matter of fact no 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 i don't have a critical <laughs> i don't have a critical term um i just want us to be clear that we are talking about sex as a verb because the it, sex is also a noun which could be describing the gender of somebody whether they're male or female but in this context i don't think that our viewers need to be reminded that we are talking about the verb the action the doing word mm. Mm. Can we move from this definition? Please. This is very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> uncomfortable. It should be very comfortable because sex is in our day-to-day -day life. Mm -hmm. As in, it's like what we, what we hear, what we say, what we envision. If we're in that state of mind, okay. Now, sex. As has any of us had a sex talk with our parents? Oh wait, Yvonne, did your parent, Barry Mzazi, where are you? Come. <laughs> Yvonne. Oh, Yvonne. Oh, yes. Judy, Yvonne, okay. Forgive me. Now, did your parent have this sex discussion with you? When we were growing up, I remember my mother saying something like this. I was going to school. Umeenda ukiwa peki yako, rudi tu ukiwa peki yako. And okay. Like, uh, Ukienda boarding ama ukienda higher primary? Boarding, oh, uh -huh. aha. Ukienda boarding ukiwa primary. Sawa, <laughs> so, like uh -huh. eh. Nikitemi nyalisema I was going for high school. I was going to Uganda. Mm -hmm. Umeenda ukiwa peke yako, rudi ukiwa peke yako. Mm -hmm. And I was like that's that's the sex talk we get these days. Mm -hmm. You hear keep being a good child. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. No one what is mentioning. Watcha tabia mbaya. Watcha tabia mbaya. As in they never, they never used to say those intimate things until one day my father called us. He, he had gone and done a counseling psychology and then one day he just called us uh, into his room and he asked, have you guys ever had or watched or talked about pornography? And we went, wait. How did this happen? Oh, uh, see, I'm, I'm a full blown, I'm like, a without full preparation. Blown. This, this went to the extent of things like pornography. Uh -huh. And so it was a bit shocking because this is not something that we grew we knowing we, we, as we, in, it's normal. Are you guys having sex? Wazungu have this thing of just talking about it normally, but so, Africans, it's like a taboo. So, Yvonne, yes. did you have a sex talk with the parents? Sort of. Sort of. Yes. You can't fully call it sex talk. Yes, I Chris, can't fully mm -hmm. talk. Did you probably have that before you pass the mic again? Uh, <laughs> uh, clearly, uh -huh. it's a uh, taboo as Ivona said. And I can also relate with her story, mm -hmm. saying, uh, actually, I remember the first time I had a, a sex talk with anyone is when I was going to university. Wah, and, wah, uh, wah, wait, uh, God. <laughs> Guy, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. Truth be said, and it's it's all about uh, the degrees that we get. You know, people are like when you go to university, there is the degree you went to study, mm -hmm. and then there's another degree. Yeah, yes, yes. You got a degree, yes, yes. University with a kid. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I was like, ah, so the the sex here, yeah. and uh, you see the hype, mm -hmm. right? That when you go to the university, uh, that uh, you expected to be engaged in such an activity mm -hmm. like that's that's the fun of it mm -hmm. so my parents uh, i can't really point of an occasion where i sat down with my father and mother to talk about sex oh but uh, indirectly there's some the talks here and there At when least. you're going to university where 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 okay nisawa <laughs> judy <laughs> where so yeah cool for me atijana <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. For me, my mom comes out clear in the absence of my dad. You know, she can come and tell you, so kona kijana umone kaniwa mebarekiwa. But then she still doesn't come out clear. For my dad. That this is sex. Yeah. Uh, no. This is how it is. And she's only like, we've got a boyfriend. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my mom. Yeah. And then my dad, in a hunger, like, you know, AIDS is real. My uh. dad is so real. <laughs> HIV is real. What? It's HIV is real. Is real. No, that's, it. yeah, real. it's uh. real. You know, ule jirani wa nyumbani, you know, ale kufa na AIDS, na mm -hmm. HIV. So that's another way of telling you, you know, about sex, but then... Clearly, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, But HIV. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately. Unfortunately. 
that is HT. Hata ngo ni kaumbali tu. Mm. Yeah. Has, it, yeah, that one for just it's just mentioned, mm -hmm. um, but it's never really been said like outright. I don't think I've ever sat down with my parents, but let me sympathize with African parents. Mm -hmm. uh, in as much as we want to castigate them and no, it is what it is. Yeah, but that's what happens. But in sympathizing with them, I also think when they were growing up, it wasn't um, a topic of discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, chill, chill, chill. chill. I was, to I was to going there. to that. Okay. I was going to that. The ladies were the ones who were maybe told about it yeah. because they were the ones at the risk of. Boy, child, you could discover. For boys, it was jaribu yeah. one. That no, kind of they threaten you and yeah. you know that kind of thing. Where now it's more of instilling discipline, and then they have these measures like don't come home late, you can't go to stay with I don't know relatives of your of your mm -hmm. like they they sort of look for ways of putting measures to prevent you from mm -hmm. doing it which of course uh, some of these measures have been passed by time because mm -hmm. nowadays the way we live things are very different from the way when they were growing up. So a question on that. Mm -hmm. When 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 you talk about boy child there are some uh, there are some uh, sort of tribes in the African culture yeah that uh, when they go for the circumcision period Apparently, kutoka is a matter of having sex. Mm -hmm. You you go and sleep with a woman, mm -hmm. those people who are not Christians. Now I'm talking about the non-Christians. The African. The, the African serious thing. So the question is, what did the uh, sort of Christian mm -hmm. parents do? Or regarding that. Regarding that. Because now this is after... We got the whole message about Christianity and all that. So what did the Christian parents do to help their children, especially their boy children? Because we know the aunties used to talk to the girls, right? Mm -hmm. And probably even the grandmothers. Not entirely though, but yes. Yeah, not yeah. entirely and though. Not even clearly. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Vaguely. But now, what did the Christian parents do to, to make sure that their children didn't go in relation to the whole circumcision thing. I want to respond to that so that we can progress yes. and have, have a rather a unanimous response. Mm -hmm. Are we having sex in church? Are we having sex in church? Yes. Yes, we are, isn't it? Yes, are. So I guess that's where we are. Eh? 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 I don't know. Um, is sex happening in church? Ask it that way, please. Is sex happening oh. in church? <laughs> <laughs> oh! That's, that's oh! <laughs> Okay, fine. I get it. I get it. Is sex happening in church? Yes. Yes. So I guess that is where we are at. Because the Christian parents didn't do anything about it. Rather, they touched on it vaguely. Now, Chris, why is it, why have we demonized sex? Is it sex, is sex a bad thing? Uh, is sex a bad thing? Please hold up the mic. Uh -huh. Quick answer. No. Sex is a good thing. Yeah, actually, okay. we, are, uh, we are products of sex. Uh -huh. we, 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 we were given, when God said, go and fill the world, why are the uh -huh. most, the, the way to do that is via copulation, the intercourse between a man and a woman. So there's so no, so there's no this vague understanding of, no, mommy and daddy just went somewhere, I can pick a supermarket, I can know I'm total. Or daddy went and created yeah. some chemical and voila, he has a baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, uh, as you have said, it's true. However, just like any other good thing, the devil works, uh, will want to use what God put in place for his own good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And every good thing that's there, mm -hmm. the devil will manipulate it to be a bad thing. Mm -hmm. And that's why sex it has now become it has not been demonized as you've said mm. however it shouldn't be that way it's our understanding mm. of sex mm. that counts mm. and uh, we should base our understanding on the biblical principles let me let me let me, let me interject to bring judy so first thing sex is a gift yes. sex is a good thing mm -hmm. but then equally with any good thing kuna down kuna mutu mwenye, there's some someone who is working tirelessly mm -hmm. dead night mm -hmm to demonize all this yes. and probably bring a very wrong aspect in it. Judy, why is sex so important to talk about in this day and age? As much as we 
as much as sex is happening in church. Because yeah. it's a good thing anyway. It, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Marvel. Wow. <laughs> the choice of words are interesting. <laughs> but then, most of us simply. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, really? Okay. HT, <laughs> really, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, sex, sex is beautiful, but as Chris started it off, it's only uh, allowed in marriage. Like, we can only talk about sex and it's being valid, valid and it's being beautiful and it's being marvelous and all the words that I can use to describe when it comes to the context of marriage. But then, parents, I can't say... Let me not say they failed, but you know they don't talk about it. I mean, let us use another interjection yeah. adjective to you know <laughs> to, to make the situation to be a bit. No, but then let's not call a spoon a, a big yeah. spade. Okay. Okay, they failed. <laughs> they failed, eh? uh -huh. and it it should be upon us that as we are going to be parents in the near future, we shouldn't fail because this is something that is happening in church. And yet, we always, we always like looking from, you know, without. We don't address the things within. And yet, these are the things that kill us. And we see in most relationships, you know, on a patam to church, an aqua heart, sex has an emotional bit of it. Maybe a huge it. emotional a bit huge of emo it. Yeah. So you find relationship, relationships being called off or being broken. You, you know, you get a lady being so heartbroken to the point of leaving church because a man just slept with her and then now the man just I come dump to evil. Okay. Uh, quick one, uh, on, our, on our Facebook page, that is the Identity Fan page, we asked a question and we are going to talk about it uh, progressively. We asked, who can't stay, uh, who, no, who can stay for long without sex? So who can't stay for long without sex? Interestingly, guess how was the statistics? Please tell us. <laughs> Go to our fan page, the identity, you'll get to see it. A hundred percent of you say that a boy child can't stay for long without sex. Do you even agree? Okay. A boy child. Maybe it's a man. Uh, there's, there's, there's a mic, there's a mic, please, there's a mic, please. Let's hold it up, you want to say? If you have, if you have something to say, please hold I up I want to talk. Uh -huh. mm, I want to talk. Please do. <laughs> do you uh, agree? Um, I, I, do, I don't know whether I agree or not, but I but I am um, a lot of the the mistakes, a lot of the sins that people commit are usually initiated by men. So that that much is true. But that is not to say that there aren't ladies who are also not straightforward. Okay. We, we will progress to that so that we can all tread in the same breath. Huh? We, we have said we have had a shortcoming from our parents, but then I don't believe it is up to us or up for us to wait until we get to marriage first to talk about it and get it right. We have an influence to our peers, so let us use our influence to induce good knowledge, rightful knowledge that is not from us, that is from above, so that we can have an understanding of this. Question, Yvonne, where do people, okay, we all have a fair idea of what sex is, yes. you know? It is not right, it is not wrong, you just have an idea. Yeah. Where do we get this knowledge from? Where do you get the knowledge from? When we were in class six, in home science, I did home science, we were taught about sex and adolescence and all that, and if you have sex, you get pregnant and all that. So, number one, we get it from school. Mm -hmm. Number two, we get it from TV. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, media has brought um, uh, what we call sex sells. Mm -hmm. If you want to advertise a car, put a naked woman, it will sell. Mm -hmm. If you want to, I wonder what a car has to do with a naked woman. But <laughs> if if uh, if you want to advertise a phone, put a slender, pretty looking chick, mm -hmm. and it will sell. Mm -hmm. If you want to advertise a particular kind of uh, oil, even mm -hmm. cooking, even cooking oil, <laughs> cooking oil. In a beach, people have to look like they are going to have sex mm -hmm. so that it can sell. I mean, so you just say it has good food. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. So, unfortunately, people are learning about sex from the media. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, and if you can remember very well, Ifikia Wazazi. Hashtag Ifikia Wazazi. Hashtag Ifikia Wazazi. It was all in the media. Mm -hmm. Most children don't have a chance to learn from their parents, but they have a chance to go on internet and what comes out of the internet is something totally different tv and 
school. Mm -hmm. where, where else do we get this knowledge from? From our very peers, you know. Yes. Yeah. And an MBA kitu mm -hmm. becomes... Yeah. Especially men, especially men, some that look bad. Especially men, in a kwanga like, you know, umelala na mademu angapi. You know, ule demu kimpata ntakupatia ni robi, robi standard. You know, something like that, you know, there's that kuchochan among peers and for some reason it's, it's totally wrong, but then it happens. It happens, Kabisa, like a guy is very pro that he's going around sleeping with 20 ladies. Well, I don't know why you're talking about <laughs> guys alone. I don't want to speaking about guys like alone. The story of guys saying that in Dakupati Arwabe, I joined Daystar University, and I'm sorry to say this. I joined the university, and when we were freshmen, there was a clique of rugby players. And uh, they had made a bet that everyone has chucked a thousand bob. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoever will be able to sleep with that particular freshman, we will give you all this money. This is a team of people. This is a lot of cash. Mm -hmm. So you find that you and him and him are friends, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, this but you don't do I, that bet. But, uh -huh. but you, you don't know this bet, mm -hmm. but they have betted on you. And you, you come, unanikatia. He comes and an ikatia. He comes and an ikatia. He comes first. Personally, I discovered that because I used to see them yeah. hanging together. Uh -huh. And suddenly, all of them are And I'm like, Sule ni beshtea, kuna epi alikuwa ankatia. What's wrong with you guys? Uh -huh. After I discovered that, I noticed they disappeared to another person. Until I found out that it was a game that happens every single semester. So also school, yes. uh, leave, leave alone the what you get from, uh, from the textbook and the curriculum. Yes. The peers in school have a way on what we know about sex. Yes. Now, my question is, uh, they are, they are very, you know, uh, t sex has very many angles to look at it. And we already know, now if you didn't know, that's where we get the knowledge from, even from experiences. Now, there are very many myths regarding sex. Chris, uh -huh. uh, let, me, let me speak the English language and uh, say one of the myths that I've had it. Practice makes, makes perfect. perfect. Or stroke experience is the yes. best teacher. <laughs> I, think, I think to me that's one of the greatest myths mm -hmm. about sex. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I'll say crafty men, uh, I included. That's the line that most men use uh, when they want to have sex from a lady. Mm -hmm. they tell, uh, and uh, this happens even in the guise of very godly relationships. Mm -hmm. Good uh, standing, uh, spiritual yeah. standing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you find uh, a gentleman telling a lady, uh, let's, let's practice this. Instead of them practicing to read the Bible, mm -hmm. they... <laughs> <laughs> Instead of having uh, Bible practice, study... Bible study, <laughs> like... Let's, let's practice yeah. about this so that when we get into marriage, we, we will yeah, we'll be good on these things. And then this, this boy ends by saying, you know what? Practice makes perfect. And as you've said, experience the best teacher. Mm. And then this, this lady is like, ah, because I love this boy, uh, let, let me just give him to read. Mm. Yeah? So I think that's one of the greatest myths about, about uh, also sex. To, also to add on it, you can talk to before you say also to add on it, there's this myth of, if you trust me, prove it. If you love me, if you love me, prove it. And that is, you giving me will be an exchange to show me that you trust me. Love me and trust me. You know, that is a myth that we men use. You know, let us not lie about this. Quickly. Um, there's also the belief that you cannot live without sex. Um, it's not said uh, like a line the way he said it, but the way people behave, they are showing by their actions that they think it is uh, some kind of a basic need. Especially mm. if you can time flani a weather. Like, pfft. Ati weather in attack our two are really. Huh? Mm. Iba ready. Yeah, two are better than one. Blangeti mm. toshi, two yeah. are better than one. Yeah. Upatiene jodo. In fact, if you ask me, I think that's the biggest... Um, problem with our understanding of sexuality because once you believe you cannot control yourself mm -hmm. then that belief will always be at the back of your mind so that even when you make a feeble attempt at the first sight of temptation you're not going to be able to contain your desire so if you tell someone about joseph in the bible they tell you that happened in the bible that you look like a uh, you know, you and and people in fact say and this this usually breaks my heart that 
when you tell someone you've not had sex, they're like, ah, yeah. Are you, well, are you for one, real? When you like are, in our in our really, in our day, day and age, age yeah, yeah. you have not. Yes, 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 yes. In our day and age, who are you? You have not had sex. Oh, you're not having sex. You're not having sex. I, I mean, it is something that you know everybody's doing it. Mm. Why not? The fear of missing out creeps in. Well, well, we're going for a short break. We have not. Quick, we have not gone to what how much sex affects us in relationship. We have just laid foundation. Please join us in the second part as we get to discuss how grievous sex attempts are in relationship, in reflection to how we want to relate to God and in a spiritual work. Join us after the break. But during this break, we are going to have a talent segment. Be blessed. Ujambo mpenzi mtasamaji na karibu kwa tarifa yetu ya siku ya leo. Tukianza na mkutasari wake, mzomaji ni Zabron Tukiomu. Makao makuu ya Yerusalemu ambayo Yesu Kristo alienda kuandaa aliposhinda maudi duniani atakamilika hivi karibuni. Waragai wawili walifiatuliwa risasi na Roma takatifu na kufa babu hapo walipojaribu kuvanya wizi kwa kutumia nguvu. Na katika ngazi za kimataifa Rais wa Babylon Jemedar Berishasharia mwishoni mwa wiki aliwaua kwa hata ya kutumia vyombo vya kanisa kwa vinywaji vya kurewa. Na katika mjezo, mjezo wa kuchoma watu ulifanyika humo Babylon ambako Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego waliopuka kuwa washindi. Habari kamili. Makao makuu ya Yerusalemu ambayo Yesu Kristo alienda kuandaa aliposhinda maudi duniani atakamilika hivi karibuni. Varume Yesu alisema kuwa watakaoridi makao hayo ni wakristo walio waminivu walio shinda fiita fia shetani filivyo shuka umu duniani kwa miaka katai riopita. Varume Yesu aliendelea kusema kuwa kila mkristo ajandai kumraki kwa shangwe na nderemo. Lakini kuringana na muandizi wa apari hizi atukuchurisu wa siku ya, ma, siku ya marejeo ya Yesu. Varume Yesu alikuwa kianena haya mtamfubi tu alipokuwa kiwa utubia wanafunzi wake kabra japa kwenda angani. Waragai wawili walifiatuliwa risasi na Roma takatifu na kufa babu hapo walibojaribu kufanya wezi kwa kutumia nguvu. Kulingana na muandizi wa habari hizi, katika kitabu cha matendo ya mtume, mrango wa tano mstari wake wa pili kuendelea, warifu hao kwa majina Hania na Safira, waliwa wapata ya kuficha paati ya veta zilizokuwa zadaka yake Mwenyezi Mungu. Varume Yesu alisema kuwa, Mkristo yeyote atakaye patikana na hatia kama hiyo, hawezi kuuridi uzima wa mirere. Familia moja ya mwanamume na mwanamke walifuruzwa kutoka shamba la Edeni. Katika kitabu cha mwanzo tatu mstari wake wa kwanza kuendelea, Adamu na hao walifuruzwa baada ya kwenda kinyume na agizo la Mungu. Watu wao walikula tunda la mti wa katikati mwa shamba, hilo kinyume na mabenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Baadaye walipata rahana ya kuishi maisha ya dhiki duniani. Katika ngaza kimataifa, rais wa Babylon Jemedari Perishasharia mwishoni mwa wiki aliuwa paate ya kutumia vyombo vya kanisa kwa vinyuachi vya kurewa. Perishasharia aliuwa paate ya kuona mkono wa mtu ukiandika ukutani kuringana na upashari wa maneno hayo, varume Daniel alimuambia Perishasharia kuwa varume wake ulikuwa umedanganyika. Na usiku huo huo, Perishasharia akafa. Wanajeshi wa nchi ya Misri walisombwa na maji na farazi walizokuwa wakizitumia kwa usafiri. Kulingana na habari tulizozipata, jeshi la farao walisombwa na maji kwenye bahari ya Yordani walipokuwa wakicharibu kuwarudisha wana wa Israeli waliokuwa wakitoka nchi ya utumwani wakienda nchi ya Kanani. Mtu mmoja afufuka baada ya kusikwa siku nina kaburini. Kutokana na habari kwenye vyombo vya habari Mtu huyo wa mji wa Petani kwa jina Lazaro alifufuliwa na mwandani wake ambaye ni Yesu mwana wa Daudi baada ya kuua kwa muta mfupi na kisha baadaye kufariki. Watu waliofika mahali papo walishangilia na kusema jina la Bwana lipate kuinuliwa mirere na hata mirere. Mijezo. Mjezo wa kuchoma watu ulivanyika humo Babylon ambako Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego waliepuka kuwa washindi. 
mabingwa hao waliebuka ushindi baada ya kurushwa kwenye duno la moto lakini hawakuchomeka mara popote pale baadaye walichinyakulia medali ya dhahabu kwa kuandikwa katika kitabu cha uzima wa milele Nae Danieli akawa mshindi miongoni mwa washindi baada ya kurushwa kwenye jaka la Simba naye hakuumwa mara popote pale naye akawa mshindi miongoni mwa washindi na huo ndio mwisho wa taarifa yetu ya habari kutoka chumba chetu cha Hope Channel nikisomewa na wenu Zabron Okyoma Now, welcome back to the show, guys. The show is the identity. Please join us in the conversation. Our social media platforms again is uh, Facebook, the identity, and also find us on on sorry. You also find us on Twitter, and you can also find me on Facebook. That is Samuel Mangi, and at Samuel Mangi on Twitter. These shows are going to be archived on our YouTube channel. Now, we have said sex has been demonized, but we should we should have this talk. Why? Because it's important. Lest we start popping out kids like popcorns, of which, if you look at it, in my generation, we are all having kids all over everywhere. Why? Because you're not talking about this. Is it important to talk about it? Yes. Now, Chris, we have said that the fear of missing out in sex is okay. Please miss out. But there's also, uh, there's also something that we need to talk about. In... Is it wrong to have sex in a relationship? Is it wrong? Because uh, sex is good. Yes. Sex is good, as I said earlier. The question, the question I would like to ask back is, which relationship? A relationship that is leading to marriage, not any other relationship, because we ruled out the whole, uh, all, the, old, the, the old myth of try this, try this, but a solid relationship that should lead to marriage. Is it wrong to have a sex in that point at that point uh okay before i say yes or a no you see deception it's the, the the best powerful deception is the one that is closed clothed with the truth you see sex should bring two people together and more close and uh when you have sex with the idea that you know uh, you, you have agreed with your boyfriend or girlfriend that this is a very solid relationship that will lead to marriage. And uh, so that we may make it more solid, let's have sex. Uh, I want to tell the viewer that actually that's what will bring you asunder. So it's the having sex in a relationship that will lead to marriage. It may seem a good idea and a good thing to do. But it isn't because sex is only to be enjoyed while in marriage relationship. Yvonne, I intend to marry Judy. Yvonne. Yvonne, yes. I intend to marry Judy. <laughs> well, no, not really. But I intend to marry Judy next week or next I'll, I'll week, become, but one. <laughs> no, this question was yours. Anyway. Yes. I intend to marry Judy mm -hmm. next week mm -hmm. or next month. Yes. You know, we have been together for like the longest time. We've dated for three years, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's a thing. Even our parents know about this. Mm -hmm. So really going into sex, it's not... Because I'm going to marry you next week anyway. Anyway. I have a question for you. Mtanda honeymoon kufanya? Ku enjoy? No, don't call it honeymoon. Call it a holiday. Okay, what is honeymoon? <laughs> honeymoon basically is when people go to go and discover themselves as Who? a married couple. Who said that? That's why it's honeymoon. Honeymoon. <laughs> why moon? Uh, why honey? Wait, wait, okay, you fine. are not even talking about okay. that. Okay. We are talking fine. about why we should not have sex before that. Having sex before that is basically stealing. Ten Commandments, well, thou shalt not steal. Sex is meant for married people. You have it before you get married, you're stealing. Well, initially, Lipa Dowry, I've already done that whole traditional thing. Wedding Nikesho. Wedding Nikesho. Sungo <laughs> Jekesho. Patience is a virtue, brother. Umemla ngombe mzima, ukashindwa na mkia. The pot breaks at the door. Yeah. Hold up the mic and say it again. The pot breaks at the door. Yeah. Yeah. So even if uh, let le, le me even be more uh, straightforward. Even if it's one hour, one hour to the wedding. No, you should hold on. 
<laughs> yeah. Actually, uh, I think I should break that down to gratification. Mm -hmm. You know, we have been brought up in a society whereby we need instant gratification. Mm -hmm. Like, in a click of uh, yeah, at the blink of an eye, you need something, you have it. Mm -hmm. you, you tap something, if you want a taxi, uh, I'm not saying that Uber is bad or any apps, but we, we, that, that is society we have been brought up to. We want shortcuts in life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in that way, that's, that, that's one of the perfect shortcuts. One would want to say, ah, I have done dowry, I have paid the traditional stuff, and uh, all that. You are now me. mine. So, you can do it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You see, no. If w what hold you there before not to do it, it's the same same principle that should hold you yeah. till it's marriage. Exactly. What is it in marriage that I should wait until until the day I say I do? Listen, what is it in listen, it? Listen, Sami. Until the we the wedding is complete and you've been pronounced husband, husband. and wife, in the sight of God, you are not married. Mm -hmm. Because even there are these marriages of come we stay. We are just we just decide a constitutionally it's accepted but biblically it's not. Watch on a constitution. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you going to revoke okay, so and the we, we are not revoking as a lawyer. Um it's actually not even in the constitution, it's in the marriage act, but that's a different story. And <laughs> Yeah. Sawa, so, I got you. I yeah, got you. Yeah, I got yeah. you. Okay, fine. I fine. don't know if anyone has a pen you can write. <laughs> <that>. <laughs> uh -huh. Um God has given us standards mm. because they are for our good. Yes. Mm -hmm. He does not want to prevent us from enjoying ourselves. Mm -hmm. Because you see there have been instances where there are risks. There are risks until Personally, this is what I usually say. Until you're pronounced husband and wife, you are considered a single person. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because people, people so are married. left on the al on the altar. Yes. Uh -huh. Wedding day, everything is mm. set. Then the wedding ends. Yeah. So, the the risk of having sex even two hours to your wedding. What if you have sex and then something happens and you're like me, I don't want to marry this person. And that's, those things happen. Mm -hmm. And then you'll still have sin. A sin is a sin, mm -hmm. regardless of how small it appears. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and by the way, there's some research that has been done. It's just that I, I can't find it now. Mm -hmm. That shows that when you have sex before marriage, there is a lower probability of that the ma that you'll actually get married. And even if you get married, the chances of infidelity go much higher. Yeah. Because you see, if once you've convinced your mind that it's okay for me to do it even when I'm not married, it's not like when you get married, you're going to stop. Yeah. yeah. Also something that should come out, as uh, as much as we we are rubber stamping the bubble standard that marriage is important, yes. it also come out that in marriage that's when you get blessing. Yeah. Is not It's not a blessing. Weeba. Stealing. You know. And there's guilt that comes. Hold with up the it. mic. There's guilt that <laughs> comes with it. Mm -hmm. You have. You know. Have you ever done something? For example, you stole something, and there's that conscious that go. Why did I do that? Why did mm -hmm. I do? That? When you have stolen someone else's daughter or someone else's son, this is both ways. Because mm -hmm. even ladies guide men towards sex. They mm -hmm. do things that lead men towards sex. Mm -hmm. So if you have stolen someone's daughter or someone else's son before getting the blessings before God, then that is stealing. And then you'll have guilt. When you have guilt, you imagine you're in your wedding, you're in your altar and you're like, now why did we do this? Why? You will not even enjoy. Mm -hmm. You will not even enjoy. Amazing. There's something that Yvonne always says here in the Shonda. I think when we indulge in sexual conduct, you know, uh, there is something that we do. Uh, go ahead, you are my closing remark. Oh, now, <laughs> pole, pole, pole. So now, let's all move on. Pole, man. Pole, Joe. Pole, Joe. I'd like to say one, one final thing mm -hmm. before we move on from here about the way we keep lowering the standard. Mm -hmm. There's a story of two men by the name of Nadab and Abihu. In the, they were sons of Aaron. Mm -hmm. So they were offering in uh, fire before the God in the sanctuary. It's a long story. But they offered strange fire and by strange fire, God was supposed to be the one igniting that fire. They decided to light for themselves. Mm -hmm. Now when you look at that thing, it does not look like a really bad thing. Mm -hmm. But God punished them instantly with sad, in, instant they death. They died instantly. Mm -hmm. So because God does not deal with our sins speedily today, we have gotten to a place where we are very accommodating and we are excusing the so-called little sins. But if God were to deal with us the way he dealt with the Old Testament people, you'd have sex bef one hour to your wedding and you'd die, die both of you there. Sasa badale arusi tunafanya matanga. That's why Paul says that now should we, pro should we continue sinning because grace has been... Yes. No, we should not. We should not, we should of not. course. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I didn't hear what you said. 
I was agreeing with my own point. Okay. I'm sorry. I get you, I get you. Now, let's, let's, let's move on quickly because time is quickly running. Now, I have decided I'm not going to have sex. Amen? <laughs> okay, now. No. Before you go there, there's something that we've not talked about on the effects of having sex that's, before marriage. That's where we're headed to. Good. Now, I have decided that I'm not going to have sex. But then there are forms of which I can equally have that gratification of sex instantly. Mm. Which are these forms? <laughs> <coughs> Speaking from experience, I mean, we just had a written out for his brother. Okay, okay. you're uh, accusing me on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Please let us slide. Uh -huh. um, there, there are certain things. I read an article a few years ago by this lady by the name of Nancy Van Pelt, and she was talking about the sort of um, physical interactions that we have with the opposite sex, which are supposed to lead up ultimately to sex. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about the different levels. A simple thing like holding someone's hand and then hugging, um, there's, it will be slight hugging, a church, your side, a mm -hmm. love hugging, serious. And before you know it, you've yeah. started kissing and you're making out, then there's light petting, then there's heavy petting, and before you know it, you've crossed the bridge. So, well, you saw my brother, hey, hey touch yeah. my fire. Hey, I don't well, know if we... Those stages, my friend. Yeah. Bana, bana. Hey. I, th I remember there were like 12 stages in power. total. Yes, yes, yes. There were like 12 stages in, in total. And she was saying that depending on where your relationship is, there are certain things that are okay. Mm -hmm. Okay? There are certain so things that, that are okay as you're moving towards it. However, mm -hmm. the mistake that people make today, so we say, okay, fine, we are not going to have sex, but we are making out, heavy making out in, 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 in private, in, in places where um, people are not seeing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. What you're doing in such a situation, you are testing how far you can get to the edge of the mm -hmm. precipice without falling off. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I do not want to impose my own views on anyone. Mm -hmm. In fact, it is not my desire to tell people what to do. But they, when we were having camp meetings sometime, and one of the speakers told us that in order to avoid premarital sex, avoid the premarital kiss. Mm -hmm. Boom. Now, I don't know what people think about that, but his argument was that one thing always leads to another. Mm -hmm. And because of the way the mind is wired, uh, because this is a, a, some kind of gratification, mm -hmm. when you get a little, you'll want more. You'll be yeah. like, this will no longer be satisfying. Mm -hmm. So if we started with a small peck on the lip, mm -hmm. it will reach a point where that peck will no longer satisfy. Instant gratification. Yes. Mm -hmm. that, oh, that also brings me into an, another issue that has been predominant in our society, especially in our generation, sexting. Mm -hmm. Chris, mm -hmm. have you heard of that word? Yeah, I've heard of, about sexting. Mm -hmm. This is where... No, no, tell us, what is sexting? Call up sexting the is mm -hmm. whereby you text, like the, you, you text the opposite sex mm -hmm. with the intention of getting, of arousing mm -hmm. the other partner. So w yeah. what you're clearly saying is having sex mentally? Yes. Via text? Yes. Uh, so let's, let's say like having, uh, when like somebody can uh, say, can, can request some inappropriate pictures mm -hmm. from the other person, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and that's also a, a form of pornography, mm -hmm. yeah. Judy, <laughs> I, ha I have not touched, I have not, I have not even figured to that person. Basically, I have not had sex. I might just try to say that, because sex is a physical, it, it is a physical um, act. Christ say that as long as you look at a woman lustfully, then you've committed adultery. Yes. So it's it's all in the mind. It's all you know the things that you preconceive in your mind. So see, lazimo lete, if one up and then you go to bed with her and then that is sex. You know the moment that you've seen at you've, you've looked at Yvonne, you've stripped in your in your mind and Ooh. that is already the act of having sex. So I say see, lazimo equal like physical, like you know we have to go to bed and all that stuff. So there's no excuse of ignorance that since I've not touched her, I've not had sex. Mm -hmm. It is all in the mind. Oh, if you've mind. slept, it does not matter how much of a virgin one is, but yeah. as long as you've slept with very many people yeah. in your mind, you're That's equally right. not a virgin. Yeah. In fact, um, what she's saying about um, it starting in the mind, mm -hmm. you see, um, 
uh, there's a co some commentary I was reading, and it was saying the reason why Jesus said when you look at a woman lustfully you've committed adultery with her in your heart is because the only thing standing between you and at that point and the act of adultery is lack of opportunity. Opportunity. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So that mm -hmm. with that mindset, at that particular time, if you were able to get that woman, mm -hmm. the same way David did whatever he did with Bathsheba, yeah. you would go ahead and do it. Yeah. People do not become... Uh, murderers overnight mm -hmm. like someone does not just wake up and say you know what do i want to go kill chris mm -hmm. it is usually you toy with the idea mm -hmm. you toy with the idea yes. you think about it and you start talking about it and before you know it you're taking up an axe and you're going to kill him mm -hmm. and you see a serial killer is someone who does it over and over <laughs> his conscience is killed the yeah. first time he did it he felt very bad mm -hmm. but now that he has done it several times so even even the person who's sexting mm -hmm. it's only a matter of time mm -hmm. before opportunity is what stands between him mm -hmm. and also something that uh, as you now talk about how effect how grievous or rather how much it will affect us if we engage mm -hmm. sex and something that i learned that once you start doing something mentally the only thing that is standing between you and that person is that opportunity just yes. as you said yes. and you know once you get it there's nothing that is going to hold you back because yes. you've already done it in your mind yes. so once it once the opportunity presents itself yes. as the same way men will love to say that kitu <laughs> lijinyama lijeleta mbona ni mbona ni restrain unakula now <laughs> judy well we have that understanding but then how grievous are the effects of having sex before marriage it's 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 I don't know how to describe it, but as grievous or as bad as just death. I mean, if we always sad when we lose our loved ones, that's how the heavens are sad when you fornicate, because that's sex before marriage. So it's very bad. And first of all, it's breaking uh, God's commandment, because we all live by the, you know, that says the Lord. What, say, what God says, then I abide by it. Mm -hmm. And so when we go contrary to what the Lord requires of us, then the heavens are not rejoicing. And then in our hearts, we'll also be bad. And no, even brought about the issue of guilt. You always uh, smama pombele altar and you're like, but I don't know, what will you be doing after marriage? That's my question. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, let me bring in how grievous are the effects of having uh, sex before marriage? Uh, well, as the university, a friend of mine uh, did a study and he was sharing with me. And uh, he labeled the study sexual energy vis-a-vis -vis poverty. Boss, boss, your study, Joe. It's a big marriage. Okay. And uh, <laughs> poverty. Uh -huh. And uh, true to, uh, to, the, to his study and his findings, he concluded that the uh, majority of the people who are poor <laughs> are people who have spent their energy wow. in, wrong, in wrong activities. <laughs> and uh, actually, the he, he, he pinned down the the inappropriate uh, use of sex mm -hmm. and uh, to me that I, I can actually I, I I backed him because you see sex in itself takes a lot of, it, it it's an energy draining process mm -hmm. and as you've said it all begins in the mind this time you are thinking about having sex with somebody who will not even be your wife mm -hmm. and who is not even your wife. Mm -hmm. You should have spent it in building yourself, in self-development. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, <laughs> something. Eh? Do something with, with that energy that you have. <laughs> you <see? laughs> you're not being realistic. Yeah. <laughs> so it's very possible. Uh -huh. I think instead of using our mind mm -hmm. in thinking of having sex before marriage, we can put good use of our mind, mm -hmm. and that, that that comes yeah. down to the time we have. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm also I'm also saying that the people were poor because they, they oh please no the no <laughs> yeah, research, it yeah. is subject to yeah uh, but, to but, but what I'm saying is that uh, the time that we spend uh, as an individual I spend in thinking of having sex I can use that time mm. and I can develop myself to be somebody better yes. and if we spend more time thinking about sex we are deteriorating ourselves mm. both mentally yeah. and with the mind that springs everything that a man is. And we, once we affect this, then the outcomes will be evident, yeah. uh, even. Another effect is, you, when we were talking about courting and dating, we talked about when you date too many, uh, too many women, you, you have a tendency of comparison. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. HT has talked about when you have sex, your conscience for the first time will start feeling guilty. The second time, after a while, it becomes normal. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, when you have sex with this person, when you go to another relationship, you find yourself having sex with that person. Mm -hmm. Another one, another one. And it becomes a continuous thing. So by the time you're getting to your marriage, now you'll be like, you're not good enough in bed. Mm. You're like a professor. Mm. You know. And you know, unfortunately, when someone doesn't end up satisfying you completely, that leads to what? Mm. Cheating. Mm. Mm. You commit what? Adult. Concurrently, you, you, you to created divorce. you co you created it way back. You created your adultery and divorce way back when you started having sex before mm -hmm. marriage. Mm -hmm. Yes, and and Sammy, allow me to also give the usual effects that we know: mm -hmm. pregnancy, mm -hmm. STI, STI, HIV, mm. <laughs> HIV, <laughs> ukimwi. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. Those are the obvious effects. But yes. in addition to that, mm. you always notice that any time a society starts becoming loose with its morals, that is usually also sp means the downfall of that society. Like yes. every major mm. empire that has ever existed in mm. the past, the minute they became liberal with their sexuality, that was also... So mm. it, even at an individual level, yeah. when you become... Um, when you become careless, when you become freestyle, mm. you are sleeping with anything in a skirt, mm -hmm. it will reach a point where you yourself as an individual will not be productive in society because yes. you're killing your conscience and then the way he said, that you're wasting the time that you could mm. be using being productive mm -hmm. in, 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 in fornication. There's a quote I want to read as Judy comes in. We, we all might, we may talk about this a lot for Umuto Semi. And this is just sorry, world, world, uh, world odds. There's a Sorry, well, there's a, there's a book that I'm reading right now, Messages to Young People, Leave You Have It, Go Read It. There's a chapter 146, there's an amazing introduction that I want to read for us. A little time spent in soaring your wild arts, that is sexual meditation and all that. Uh, dear, dear young friends, you will produce a crop that will embitter your whole life. An hour of thoughtlessness, yes. once yielded to temptation, may turn the whole you uh, may turn the whole ca current of your life in the wrong direction. direction. When once uh, you have passed uh, over the ground, you can never return to rectify your mistakes. Yes. Amen. I wanted to, uh, to say, we are we're always singing, you know, when we all get to heaven, <laughs> we are marching to Zion, mm -hmm. and we all, we all, in a way, you know, we always... We always want to see Jesus. For me, I desire to meet Christ. For me, I desire to reach that heaven. Mm -hmm. And so one of the uh, grievous effects of sex, it cuts your relationship with Christ. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when you have sex before marriage, you always have this thing, yeah. And then the guilt that she was talking yeah, about. And then the bad thing, ni. The devil comes in and says, ah, sit here, we shall come. Usha fanya. There's nothing new. Hey. Uh -huh. So to this person who is like, the devil, I'm mean, shaken, I'm, mean, you know, the, the mind is always like, you know, I've already sinned. What's mm -hmm. next for me? Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. So let us not give in to these suggestions that yeah. comes from the devil. Also now, so that we, we move on swiftly. Uh, as a young man, I have decided to consecrate my life in God's purpose, isn't it? But then now here I am, I want to now pursue a relationship and which will progressively lead to marriage. There's this topic of sex, how do I get to talk, how do I get to address it with my girlfriend? How do I get to address it? Chris, you, you, you seem ready and up for it, please. Uh, how and when? Okay, how? How? Let me start with how. It's paramount that uh, the two of you set lines. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. more of an introduction. Mm -hmm. Ilea, okay. Heads up, yo. <laughs> uh -huh. like for example, one uh, that's uh, it's common, but very few people do it. It's you should minimize the time you spend in privacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You mean privacy in confidence that nobody else seeing you? Ama privacy. You can you can, you can you have a private time in public. In the, in the in the conference whereby you, the two of you are alone, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. Kokeja. And, uh, Kokeja. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. You should you should really <laughs> limit that. Uh -huh. uh, and and if if you must uh, be there, you should be doing a meaningful activity. And uh, there there are so many activities that the, the two of you can do that uh, won't really lead your minds to that. Mm -hmm. See, one thing, one one funny thing about the mind is that. What you feed it is what it will produce. Yeah. When you feed the candle nature, yeah. you will feed from what from what it trips off. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, 
ensure that the two of you engage in activities that feed the, that, that that will steer the mind away from anything that is sexual. So the first thing, once once you intend to pursue a relationship and you already have an understanding, the first thing, mm -hmm. eh, hey, madam, by the way, we're not we're not having sex. That should be there. As, as you say, yeah. we should not have sex. Although, um, in answering the question of when, um, I don't think that it's appropriate that, uh, let's say, Judy and I have gone out for the first date. So and not having sex. Ata kula. <laughs> nene. Atuja oda. Ata. Uh -huh. By the way, Madam, Judy, no sex. listen to me. No, 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 no. The, I, I feel that it's a topic that comes once the relationship has... Um, looks like it it is it's going to flourish it's going somewhere now of course the boundaries are set early mm -hmm. but there's a deeper conversation that mm -hmm. needs to be had mm -hmm. that i feel that very young couples do not need to start what are having. these talks or rather what are these boundaries that you're talking about so that you can the boundaries we are saying it's like what you said um okay first of all the agreement should be from the start um, if, if um, presumably, if this is a Christian couple, the agreement should be from the start that we are not having sex, mm -hmm. because I've met, uh, I've heard of people, and maybe I've even interacted with some, who yes, they're Christian, but they are not convicted on this issue, mm -hmm. and they'll tell you, me by the way, um, I do not think there's anything wrong. Mm -hmm. So once that agreement has been reached and we have agreed, okay, fine, we're not having sex, mm -hmm. then now we now define. Um, how far is too far? How far with is the, too with far? The, yeah. With the twelve kissing yes. and blah blah yes, blah. Yes, yes. Are we going to? Am I? If if let's say I go over to her place at night mm. and it's late, am I going to spend the night there? Are we going to share? You know those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Are we going to go for trips to Mombasa where we're going to stay for the, the weekend? Alone? Just the two of us alone. Those are some of the things that we need to define. And I think. Uh -huh. um, it's important for every. And this is not even for people who are already in relationships. Even for you and me, when you bother to join a kaniwa, we. It's important for us to. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's good to be honest to our viewers. Mm. Our viewers need to know the truth. Yes, yes. Even even now, we should already know that once I get into a relationship, these are the risk factors mm -hmm. of you know get, getting into pre, into me, an 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 unnecessary or uncalled for even sex. Let me, let me bring you in. You know, thank Lord in a relationship. Uh at what point do we have to talk of this? Because just as you have said, yes we're not gonna talk about it and we're not we're not going to engage it. But to have a further understanding of by the way, Ukinifikisha Hapa, my friend, at what point do we have that conversation? When you have decided that you're going to get married, because we talked about courtship, we mm -hmm. are not doing the whole dating thing, we're talking about courtship. When you've decided you're getting married, there are some principles that you have to write down, that you have to consider. It's not just about sex, it's principle on everything. Mm -hmm. Food, what you dress, what you, how you speak to people, how you use your money, how everything. It's just about principle. Lest we find ourselves in a position that we now start throwing the blame game that if we did not do this, yes, if we did yes. not dress properly, yeah, yeah. if we did not do something, yes. that uh, we, we, we wouldn't have been at this place. Yeah. So when you create the principle, the principle is clear in the Bible. What you're supposed to do with your body is how to dress, how mm -hmm. to eat, everything is there. Mm -hmm. So that time that you're sitting down to put principles, sex is one of them. One of the principles. And basically, talk about having sex after marriage. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sammy, sorry, 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 sorry. There's just one more thing I've remembered. I remember in, there's an episode where Yvonne talked about getting parental permission. Now, when you have an open relationship, which people know about, it's your more, your, it's uh, accountability. Please, uh, refrain from using the word open relationship, because it has very many <laughs> explanations. <laughs> okay, so fine, fine. By, by open, I mean public. one that is public, one mm -hmm. that is out there. Yeah. So, um, just your public relation. Yes, yes. With a particular, okay. Yes, 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 anyway, yes, yes. <laughs> so that, I get the idea. Yes, uh -huh. so that even when, when let's, I'm in a relationship, um, there's maybe an older couple, mm -hmm. uh, one that's already married recently, who are holding us accountable. That's also one of the ways yes. to prevent some of these things from happening. Thank you so much, Judy. Quickly. Sorry for taking your time. <laughs> Judy. No problem. Yeah, for me, uh, I don't want to add much. I'll be repeating what everyone has said. And she's in a relationship experience. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> but what I can say, you know, God makes everything beautiful at his own time. Mm -hmm. 
and when God uh, at his own time to this uh, in regards to sex his own time means marriage mm -hmm. so sex can only be um, enjoyed in marriage anything uh, less than marriage I don't think that should be even something we should be debating about in a relationship mm -hmm. Chris your parting shots as you, as you come to a close parting shot <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm so reflective. Eh? <laughs> I, I, I was thinking, uh -huh. what can I give my wife? What best gift can I give to anyone? Uh, do you know, you know, when when a gift is wrapped and the joy of opening that gift, yeah, then ah, you find you finally find the gift. I think I should wrap myself, yeah, and uh, I think I'm the best gift. And wrapped uh, that can give to my wife. Wow. Mortgage, houses, and cars that won't suffice yeah. Yeah. when a marriage is broken because of mm -hmm. sex. Thank you so much. Yvonne, as you come up. You already did my parting shot about <laughs> the flowers and petals. Okay, you can just. Uh, no, I will <laughs> say something else. Okay. As youths, we should take time to help each other upstate. As youths, we should take time to uh, help our teenagers abstain. As youths, we should take time to help our parents understand that we need the talks about sex so that we mm -hmm. can be able to sort ourselves from these gray areas that people talk about. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank so you so as much. youths, let's be. Let's be each other's keeper. Be your brother's keeper. Amen. And I will be your keeper. Yes. We are watching you. <laughs> Judy. She, she has insisted. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, my parting shot. Okay, first two things. Number one, people who have made the mistake, um, there is forgiveness. All hope is not lost. All hope is not lost. It's only Christ who can redeem and restore. Yes, and there are a lot of people who are struggling with sexual addictions who may watch this show and end up feeling discouraged. Uh, I'd like to put it out there that um, these are things that are not beyond uh, Jesus came to die for everyone, including equally, people. With what we just said, let me just have an interjection, sorry. Go ahead. We are not here to condemn. Mm. Yes. We do not condemn. So if you're in it, all hope is not lost, Malaysia. Yes. And um, secondly, as and maybe maybe to balance that point, we are told in First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16 and 17, that we are the temple of God and the yes. Spirit of God dwells in us. But in verse 17, it says, if any man defiles the temple of God, God shall destroy him. Mm. So it's not just a question of, ah, uh, uh, let me just do it. What's the worst that could happen? Mm -hmm. People have ways of getting around the problems of pregnancy and STI. But in the sight of God, it is a sin that is very, very grievous. And in fact, I think there is somewhere else where it says in the Bible where... Has it come to an end? Yes. There are certain... You can commit a lot of sins, but sins against your own body are very, very grievous. For the, for the reason that we've said in this show that they have consequences that are going to follow you for a very, very long time. One moment of indiscretion. Thank you so, so much. So those are my two uh, last things. Thank you so much. Judy. Sex is beautiful. Marvelous. <laughs> Marvelous. Just to recall what you said. <laughs> but then it's more beautiful at the right time. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes, <sighs> wow. Well, we have come to the end of our show for today. I know there's somebody who's going to be back at home and is going to be like, Sir, sir, muko singo. Muna jecha munaongelea. Well. <laughs> HG, Just because we don't have cars. Because Ababutu, we don't have cars, it does not mean we cannot talk about cars. <laughs> anyway, <Okay. laughs> anyway, now, <laughs> we've come to the end of our show for today. There is a lot that you can discuss about, but then there are two things that I would like to say. We are not here to tell you that if umefika musho, to me a condom. <laughs> don't. Because it's still potato potato. Still having sex. We are going to raise the banner high of abstainers and how best can you have this guidance? Talk to your folks. Talk to your mentors. Take, talk to your elders. elders. Talk to the people who you look up to. They'll give you the best advice. And if you think you can't, well, watch the identity. And the previous shows have been your host. Please share with us 
more about what you think about this sex and what we have not covered please post it on our all that is the identity you can also find me on facebook and on twitter at it that is samuel mangi and at, on twitter is at sammy mangi this show and more will be posted thank you for your time thank you guys for your input god bless you, bless you <laughs> <laughs> until next time be safe